All right, so what's good, YouTube? It's your man, the son of some man. Who's my son? Who's my son? Son? Who's my 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 son? And I'm back, back with another video. What's up, guys? What's going on? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking me out, and this is your first time tuning into the channel, I thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. We are 29 subscribers away from five. Thousand. Also, if you're interested in following me on Instagram and Twitter, my links will be down below as well. All my day one subscribers, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? How you been? Very nice to you know, very nice to be back. Good to see you guys. Anyway, guys, we're gonna jump right into today's video. Today, we're gonna be checking out the Air Jordan 3 UNC. Now, these drop uh, March 7th, which is this Saturday, for a retail price of 190. Now, before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to Tom Stefanik for uh, actually hooking me up with this pair. I truly appreciate it, T. Uh, if you guys aren't too familiar with him, which I'm sure you guys are because he's one of the bigger sneaker YouTubers, you can check out his channel. His link will be in the description as well. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into today's review. All right, guys, here we have it, the Air Jordan 3 UNC. Now... They did uh, give us the, you know, typical Air Jordan 3 box where you got the cement print, you know, going all around. Uh, we got the Air Jordan 3 Retro White Valor Blue Tech Gray. It's actually not even University uh, University Blue. It's Valor Blue. I never heard of that colorway. Anyway, the retail price, like I mentioned before, is 190 bucks. I also mentioned they dropped this Saturday, March 7th. See, it's got the, you know, regular Air Jordan 3 box which i think is pretty dope inside is red not really worried about the box right now also got your cement paper here Woohoo! these boys are sexy check these out guys the air jordan 3 unc now i know you guys are familiar with the uh the pe's and i just seen uh the perfect pair he actually Took a photo of his uh, UNC three PEs, man. Those are those are so fire too, though. Those are really fire. I mean, at least they gave us the uh, the colorway and whatnot. And we got, you know, it's pretty close to the PE. But all right, guys, starting with the outsole first. As you can see, we got your Tar Heel blue here. Well, valid, val uh, valid blue. Excuse me. Then most the most of the outsole is uh, gray. Then you got some navy blue here with the. Uh, Jordan branding there. Moving up, you got your standard Air Jordan 3 midsole, which is standard Air Jordan 3, you know, color blocking, same color scheme, just uh, it's got that, you know, valid blue. <laughs> it's not UNC blue, it's valid blue. All right, guys, moving up. Normally, on the, on the Air Jordan 3, you would have like two different leathers here. For this release, why, I don't know, but they're both tumbled, the leathers. On the mudguard, it, it's usually like a more flat leather. And then you got your tumble leather up, but on this pair, it's actually, it's actually, you know, the same leather, but that's cool. Anyway, guys, moving around to the toe box, as you can see, we got that elephant print, which they are doing a little bit of a better job on it. Uh, like I mentioned uh, on my Instagram, I think I mentioned that I actually wanted to do a, uh, a comparison with the 94s and the all red cement 3s, which are back here. I have, I'm going to be doing that video too. Probably this weekend, I'll drop it. But anyway, guys, let's take a closer look at this. As you can see, we got the elephant print, you know, towards the heel of the sneaker as well. And the leather on the shoe is really, really not that bad. You know, it could be better, but it could be worse. So take what we can get, you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, moving up the tongue, you got your perforated holes on the actual tongue itself. Then you got all white laces. Also on the eyelets, you got some navy blue and then you got some valid blue on the uh, eyelets. So it's kind of giving like a, you know, different... I like the... Uh, I like the fact that they got a little navy blue in it, you know? Really dope. Anyway, moving up, you got that huge jump man on the tongue, embroidered as well. As you can see, it also has an uh, outline of that uh, navy blue I mentioned. And then the actual jump man is in that valid blue. All right, taking a look at the back of the sneaker. As you can see, they did not hit us with the Nike Air. They got us with the jump man and the Air uh, text on the bottom there. Still dope. Moving up to the collar of the sneaker, you got some perforated holes. Uh, as for the sock liner, it is all white as well. That's that's a little uh, 
that's gonna be a little bit tricky to keep clean so this shoe is not an everyday sneaker but I think the shoe uh, you know the, the the cleaner it is the better it's gonna look because obviously it is an all-white shoe and it's gonna be really really hard to keep clean so this is not your everyday shoe all right taking a look at the back of the tongue as you can see on the back it has heart and on the other one I believe it says yes so so that's pretty cool I like the details in the sneaker as well all right guys taking a look at the insole as you can see it says we got quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever and as you can see we have an all uh, red insole the material on it's pretty soft pretty nice not bad all right taking a look at the medial side of the sneaker as as I mentioned before standard Air Jordan 3 midsole uh, the two leathers are they're actually the same leather like I mentioned before they're tumbled pretty good the uh, elephant print as you can see it wraps around the entire back of the sneaker as for the toe box it actually wraps around the entire toe box as well but like I mentioned before the uh, the shape of the shoe is pretty much the same shape as the red cement which like I mentioned before I wanted to uh, do a comparison with the 94 because I heard good things I heard good things about it so anyway we'll be doing that probably this weekend but anyway guys let me know down in the comment section do you plan on picking these bad boys up anyway guys this weekend they drop I'm probably gonna try and double up get another pair maybe I'll get them for my son I don't know but anyway guys let me know down in the comment section if you guys plan on picking these up and what you think of them just let me know down in the comment section but guys, I truly appreciate you guys for tuning in. I really, really do. Until next time, it's your man, the son of some man, and I'm out, guys. Peace.